Squeeze die casting presents itself as a modification of the traditional die casting process as it combines the casting and forging processes. Squeeze die casting uses high pressure to solidify molten metals between the plates of the hydraulic press. Nearnet shapes that are nearly pore-free can be attained in highly dense casting by applying pressure to the molten metals. Types of squeeze die casting. The traditional squeeze die casting is divided into two types, namely direct and indirect, both having their own merits and demerits. Direct casting. The direct method closely resembles the liquid forging procedure. In the direct method, the molten metal is poured directly into the bottom half of the die, and the upper half is closed, causing the molten metal to fill the entire cavity. After that, a pressure of around 70 to 140 megapascals or more is applied using a hydraulic press over the whole cavity during the solidification process. The direct method of squeeze casting gives better heat transfer, which produces adequate structures. Indirect casting. Indirect squeeze casting is more like high pressure die casting, as the chamber used is similar. In this process, the green free liquid metal is injected into an indirect squeeze casting machine through a shot sleeve, which can be vertical or horizontal. The melt is injected into the die chamber through a much thicker gate and lower velocity than that of high pressure die casting. Nonetheless, both processes exhibit some advantages over traditional forging casting, including requirement of NDT non-destructive testing, improved mechanical properties, shorter production cycle up to 66% less time, better and flexible metallic properties. Process of squeeze die casting. The process begins when molten metal is poured at the lower half of the preheated and lubricated die cavity and pressure is applied before, after the solidification. The pressure applied in the squeeze die casting is lesser than the pressure applied in metal forging. The preheated die is set on a hydraulic press along with a coating of an ejecting agent such as graphite. It helps with the ejection of the final product when it is entirely in hard form. As the metal starts to lose its liquid molten state, the upper half of the die is pressed into the bottom half until the casting fully solidifies. The pressurization aids in ensuring that the metal moves equally among the solidifying casting, which reduces the risks of the metal component falling apart. Once the alloy is in a firm, solid form, the press ram withdraws, and the casting alloy is extracted from the plates of the hydraulic press. Squeeze Die Casting Parameters the essential processing parameters that need to be monitored to produce a successful squeeze die casting component are listed below. Casting temperature, the initial point is typically between 6 to 55 degrees C above the liquid's temperature, but the temperature can vary depending on the alloy and the geometry. Squeeze pressure, normally the pressure level is around 70 to 140 megapascals. Tooling temperature, the range usually varies between 190 to 315 degrees C. Lubrication, for common casting metals such as aluminum, copper, and magnesium, any good grade of colloidal graphite is used as spray lubricant. Time delay, it is the measure of the actual time between the metals pouring and the moment the press ram starts the pressurization on the metal in the die cavity. Squeeze pressure holding time for casting that weighs around 9 kilograms. The range between 30 to 120s is considered suitable. Material selection for squeeze casting. Squeeze die casting is suitable for nearly all metals and their respective alloys. But materials remaining liquid at room temperatures, like mercury, highly radioactive elements like uranium, and metals alloys with high melting temperatures are unsuitable. Manufacturers mostly use aluminum squeeze casting for production. It has become a low-cost alternative to high-pressure and gravity casting. The process of squeeze casting aluminum also benefits the secondary alloys. But the process must be free from coarse iron aluminide to impair the mechanical properties. Only a few quality manufacturers apply squeeze casting to magnesium and zinc alloys. Other common metals are yet to become readily used in the squeeze casting process. Squeeze casting is an innovative process that combines forging and casting to produce high-quality metal parts with excellent mechanical properties, low shrinkage, low porosity, and high density. Its versatility allows it to cast both ferrous and non-ferrous metals, 
making it highly suitable for applications in the automotive, industrial, and military sectors. Renowned for its energy efficiency and suitability for mass production, this process delivers lightweight and durable components. With controlled settings and exceptional results, squeeze casting has become the preferred method for efficiently producing high-performance metal parts. Sunrise Metal is a company equipped with squeeze casting technology. If you needs, please contact us.